In this short video we're going to learn how to use the TI Inspire CX to find the rate of change and again it's not always the best way to do it but this is a pretty quick little shortcut here it could save you some time so let's look at the problem here it's uh, number 11 based upon the June 2015 regions it says Joey enlarged a three inch by five inch photograph on a copy machine he enlarged it four times the table shows the area of the photograph after each enlargement and we see a table here below the table says what's the average rate of change of the area from the original photograph to the fourth enlargement to the nearest tenth so we have the original here and we have the final the fourth enlargement and we're going to solve that using our TI Inspire CX. We're going to now look at our document here. We're going to go uh, over to lists and spreadsheet this time. Now we don't need to use all this data here. We just need the original and we need the final. So as is best with the Inspire CX, uh, it's you should label uh, each one of your data sets and I'll, I'll just call this uh, enlarge I could call it X really but I'm gonna say enlarge and the next one I'm going to label as uh, area and again I only need to put in the two values uh, the final and the uh, the first and the final so the first is zero zero enlargements and we'll uh, go on to four enter that and we'll now go up and we'll start with 15 and we'll go down to 36 and six tenths now let's think about what rate of change is rate of change is slope and if we look at the formula y equals mx plus b we're going to want the value M because that gives a slope. So now I'm going to click on another cell that's blank and I'm going to hit my menu. We're going to look into statistics calculations and I, I'm going to look for my linear regression MX plus B. See that M there? That's our slope. That's the value we're looking for. So now I'm going to select uh, X is enlarge Y is area click OK now we're going to look at our chart here and we can see that uh, <coughs> M is 5.4 and if we look at our set of choices here 3 number 3 is 5.4 so there's our value 